Now, this fall, even before the revolting attacks in Paris and San Bernardino, I ordered new actions to intensify our war against ISIL. These actions, including more firepower and special operations forces, are well underway. This continues to be a difficult fight. As I said before, ISIL is dug in, including in urban areas, and they hide behind civilians, using defenseless men, women, and children as human shields. So even as we're relentless, we have to be smart, targeting ISIL surgically with precision. At the same time, our partners on the ground are rooting ISIL out town by town, neighborhood by neighborhood, block by block. Uh, that is what this campaign is doing. We are hitting ISIL harder than ever. Coalition aircraft, our fighters, bombers, and drones have been increasing the pace of airstrikes, nearly 9,000 as of today. Last month in November, we dropped more bombs on ISIL targets than any other month since this campaign started. We're also taking out ISIL leaders, commanders, and killers one by one. Since this spring, we've removed Abu Sayyaf, one of their top leaders, uh, Haji Mutaz, ISIL second in command, uh, Junaid Hussein, a top online recruiter, Muhammad Mwazi, who brutally murdered Americans and others, and in recent weeks, Finance Chief Abu Saleh, Senior Extortionist Abu Mariam, and Weapons Trafficker Abu Rahman al-Tunisi. The list goes on. We're going after ISIL from their stronghold right, down, uh, right in downtown Raqqa to Libya, where we took out Abu Nabil, the ISIL leader there. The point is ISIL leaders cannot hide, and our next message to them is simple, you are next.